Hello there folks, just a quick video to mark quite a special occasion for the channel. You can see that we have gone to a thousand subscribers overnight, so I just wanted to make a video to thank everyone who has subscribed to the channel, supported it along the way, and, and just chat a little bit about the channel, how it came about, why I do it, and what the future may hold. So, in the full interest of transparency, I've got my YouTube studio page up here for you to have a look at and you can see that there's 1,000 subscribers. Absolutely fantastic. Now, if we go to analytics and we change this to lifetime, you will see that although the channel has been in existence for a while, see 2020, when's that? So it looks like the earliest date there is Sunday the 6th of December 2020. And if I remember correctly, I kind of started it just as a fun thing to post the odd video up and just playing around with YouTube. The way a lot of people start, I guess. So you can see it's pretty much flatlining there. And then round about here, 2021. This is probably me joining the E-Seniors Racing League, which is what I really used the channel for, was live streaming the races that we had in E-Seniors. So again, not massive hits because I wasn't really making content so much. I was just live streaming races now and again. And that was the case right the way along to around about here. What date's that? So that's around about uh, July, August last year. I made a decision to start actually making some proper content and the first few did not get very many hits at all and then I got a particular video which absolutely rocketed for me I think I just made it at the right time I'll try and link that video it was um, taking 60s cars around the 60s version of Spa in Automobilista 2 and it just seemed to kind of strike a chord with people and to this day it's still my most successful video. I'm not quite sure how that happened. Maybe it was just the YouTube algorithm being very kind to me on that day. So that kind of gave me uh, a little bolster and I started making content more regularly as you can see uh, and if we maybe go back to look at say the last 365 days you can see that some videos have been quite successful there's little peaks here and there and then other videos aren't quite successful but the whole point is that I enjoy doing this I'm retired I, I used to work in IT so I love tinkering around with things and when I retired I decided decided to teach myself video editing and that nicely segued into making a YouTube channel. So that is still the case. I do it for fun. That is the primary reason. I have a nice pension. I don't need the money. Having said that, it's nice to get to a thousand subscribers. I still have a little bit to go before monetization. If I just show you that, to get monetized you need a thousand subscribers and one of these two things here. Um, either you need 4,000 public watch hours and you need 10 million <laughs> public shorts views. Now I can tell you now, that that's not going to happen with me. I've tried shorts and they're an absolute disaster. Uh, it's a waste of my time. So I've got to wait until this hits 4,000, which shouldn't take too long. And then we'll see what YouTube says about monetization. So if I do, I can guarantee you that every single penny that's earned will go back into the channel, back into sim racing, buying new titles to race and show you guys, maybe upgrading the odd bit of hardware. As I've just done recently, I bought a new Steel Series headset and microphone. Cost me a wee bit of money, but I wanted to get the the clarity in my voice for you guys. I found that the, the old uh, Razer wired pair that I was using introduced too many clicks. Sometimes the, the wire would hit off my rig and you would hear the click. So with the wireless ones, it's a whole lot better. So that's the kind of thing that I would spend any income on from the channel. So let's just have a little um, look at some of the analytics again it's quite interesting sometimes to look you can see this one here again that was nicely timed because the update for automobilista 2 just came out on a saturday to give high beams so i made a very quick video and it got some nice views 
uh, and then you get other ones. If I go back to the content, you can see this one I just made the other day about Forza Motorsport. Hardly anything really. Maybe that's indicative of how people feel about Forza Motorsport just now more than anything. Uh, going back to the analytics, uh, let's have a little look at some of these. So you can see the live streams, you know, some people do watch them, but it's really the videos that brings in viewers. So I will be concentrating on that again. Same with the returning viewers and subscribers. It seems to be the videos that you guys like. If we have a look at the audience tab, all the usual suspects that uh, for the other channels that people watch, these are the channels that I watch as well. All are very good guys. The time that my audience seems to be on YouTube is after midday UK time, right up until about midnight. So that ties in with UK and America, I would guess. Uh, yep, and you can see that my top geographies for people watching is the UK and the States. And you can see that still 0% females, it's all guys. <laughs> Which is why I keep saying guys, I don't say uh, ladies and gentlemen. Um, maybe that will change over time. So, anyway, as I say, I got a very short video just to say thank you very much uh, for getting me to a thousand and hopefully the channel will grow. I'll maybe do an update in when it's a year. So I said that I really started it in earnest around July, August in 2023. So I guess around about July, August this year is going to be one year anniversary for the channel. And it will be very interesting to see where we stand there. So onwards and upwards. Thanks again, guys. And I will see you in a video very soon. Cheers for now.